Hi everyone, welcome to Keto Blogging and in this video I will show you how can do on-page SEO of your blog post. So here I am using the blogger platform and here this is the blogger post editor and I need to do on-page SEO of this blog post. So the first element you need to fix is the title. So you need to add a catchy title that will improve your CTR in the search result page. So for this we are going to use a tools called title generator or you can also write your own titles so for this we are going to use a title generator so suppose i have to write a article on keyword research so what i can do is just copy the primary keyword here keyword research and i will add the content idea keyword so i will add the keyword here and then it is saying that enter a desired outcome for your audience so i will say like for SEO or you can just add the main keyword SEO and common industry problem so find keywords industry name so I will add marketing as my industry name and enter the name of your target audience so I will say SEO beginners now let's click on generate headlines ideas and as you can see it has generated some headline ideas here so nine essential tips for seo beginners how seo keyword research is not that good 17 secrets you didn't know about keyword research so i think this headline is good so i will copy this headline and i will just paste the headline here and here you can change the number like 17 to i think seven secrets that you didn't know about keyword research so in this way you have added a number in this headline you have added the focus keyword in the headline and you have added some power words in the headline so it helps us to increase the ctr in the search page then you need to focus on the search description or you can say meta description so you have to write the same content within the 150 words suppose you are writing keyword research then you have to write briefly about keyword research in 150 words and you have to mention the focus keyword in the search description so search description basically shows just below the title in the search region so let me just search for keyword research in google and here as you can see this is the meta description so we need to add the meta description like this the power of keyword research lies in better understanding our keyword research tools give you insight into how often so this is a tool so how to do keyword research keyword research is the process so here they have just added the keyword research definition here and so you have to add a meta description like this then you need to fix the permalink so by default it is set to automatic permalink so you need to click on custom permalink and make your permalink short so you can simply include your focus keyword so in that case i have selected like keyword research for seo so we have targeted two different keywords one is keyword research another one is seo so we have to add your focus keyword in the permalink sections and then you can select your category so in that case i am selecting keyword research or you can select seo as a category and then you need to focus on the heading structure so heading structure basically tells the users and the search engine more about the content and it helps briefly understand the topic so suppose this is a text so i want to make it as a heading so we need to change it to a h2 tag so for this i will highlight this and i will change it to headings then i will search for another heading here so we have added this text h headings and let's change the conclusion to headings so heading basically the h2 tag and here you will see this option sub heading this is the h3 tag and then you will see this option minor headings so you have to add the h2 tag first and under the h2 tags you can add multiple h3 tags and under the h3 tag you can add some h4 tags so in this way you have to maintain the structure of headings then you need to focus on alt text or you can say alt attribute so here we have added a image here then you have to click on the settings here and then you have to add alt text so what i can do is here 
we have to explain the image so this image is about keyword research what is keyword research so i can simply add the all text like what is keyword research like this and you can also add the title as same or you can add a different title here so i will keep the same so what is keyword research like this and you can select the size so i will select original size here and i will click on update and you can also further customize the image so let me just publish this blog post first and let's open the blog post in a new tab and as you can see this is how the blog post looks like and let's add a border around the image so how you can do that just go to the blog post and here you need to click on html view and you need to search for the image code so here this is the image code div and the image code ends here closing div tag so here we can simply delete this div tag here so we don't need this we can just select this one image only and i will delete the last two sections so this is the image and the border is zero so let's add a border to two so it will add a border around this image so let's update this blog post now let's refresh this page so i think there is some error in this case so if this border is not showing like this then you can simply add a style tag here style equal to and i can in the double quote i can add a border like 2px solid and i can also add a border radius also 5px like this now let's update this so in some cases this border function doesn't work so we need to add the border like this and as you can see the border is added in this image and if you want to make the image to the center then what i can do is just select the image and add a center tag this is the simple way to make the image center so i will add the center tag like this now let's update this blog post and let's refresh this page and as you can see image is now moved to the center so in this way you can customize your image add border add border radius and you can also make it center now let's delete unnecessary space here now let's move to compose view so here as you can see we have finished the editing of image and then you need to highlight the important sections so suppose i want to highlight or i want to target this blog post for affiliate marketing also so what i can do is just select affiliate marketing i will select bold now let's scroll down and i can find different sections and i will highlight this or make it bold so let's select this one affiliate marketing and let's select bold so in this way we can add border radius add image all text and add different sections and you can also do internal linking for improving the seo suppose you have written another blog post related to affiliate marketing then what i can do is just link that page from this page so it will get a internal link from this page so whenever the google bot crawl your blog post it will crawl that page also and update this database so in this way you can tell the google that this page is linked to that page and in this way you can improve your authority of the blog post and you can also add table of content to your blog post so let me just show you how you can do that so let me just go to the youtube and here you need to search for the table of content tutorials so let me just scroll down and here it is how to add table of content in blogger so just follow this tutorial and you will be able to add table of content to your blog post so there are various ways you can improve your on page seo and if you want to add a note blog like this then i have already done a video on this so you can find this link in the description 
सो आई होप यू गॉट द आइडिया हाउ टू डू ऑन पेज एस यू ऑफ योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट फर्स्ट यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन योर टाइटल देन यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन योर मेटा डिस्क्रिप्शन देन यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन द इमेज ऑल टेक्स्ट देन यू नीड टू वर्क ऑन द हेडिंग स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ योर ब्लॉग पोस्ट देन यू नीड टू एड इंटरनल लिंक्स एंड देन यू नीड टू फाइंड द इम्पोर्टेंट की वर्ड्स एंड मेक इट बोल्ड और यू कैन मेक इट इटेलिक एंड यू कैन ऑल्सो एड डिफरेंट सेक्शंस सो सपोज आई विल शो यू हाउ यू कैन एड एब्रीविएशन टैग इन दिस वेबसाइट सो सपोज आई हैव रिटर्न ए टैक्स लाइक दिस एस सी ओ इज ए एस सी ओ इज वेरी इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर रैंकिंग सो लेट मी जस्ट सिलेक्ट इट सो मेक्स योर टू फाइंड ग्रामाटिकल्स एरर्स सो यू कैन यूज ए प्लग इन्स और यू कैन यूज एन एक्सटेंशन कॉल्ड ग्रामरली सो इफ यू आर एडिटिंग फ्रॉम मोबाइल फोन देन यू कैन इंस्टॉल द ग्रामरली की बोर्ड एंड इफ यू आर यूजिंग डेस्कटॉप देन यू कैन इंस्टॉल द ग्रामरली एक्सटेंशन्स सो इट हेल्प्स यू टू रिड्यूस द ग्रामाटिकल एरर इन योर वेबसाइट्स ग्रामाटिकल एरर ऑल्सो प्लेस एन इम्पोर्टेंट रोल इन रैंकिंग द पेज सो यू नीड टू फिक्स ऑल द ग्रामाटिकल एरर्स and suppose i want to add abbreviation in the seo word so what i can do is just go to the html view here and i will find the seo and i will add a abbr tag a b b r and i will close it here and i will add a title and i will click on i will add equal to and i would add double quote and i will add the abbreviation of this term so i will add like search engine optimization and i will close the abbr tag after the seo word like this so you can add a title to the word and you can add the abbreviation of that word so let's update this blog post now let's refresh this page and as you can see whenever i hover the seo word it will add the abbreviation like this search engine optimizations so you can play around different html tags or you can write the content in a better way so that you can improve your ranking in search so i hope this video helps you improve your on page seo in blogger and if you have any doubt regarding this then you can ask me in the comment section and if you found this video helpful then make sure to hit the thumbs up button and do subscribe key to blogging and i will see you in the next video thank you